y'all, how's it going? Awesome, I hope. Today I thought I would throw back a little bit and talk about becoming a teen mom. So when I was 19, I was waiting for my friend in a parking lot. I'm like just sitting in my car and there's this other guy and this was kind of a place where people like frequented, you know, to like go to clubs and stuff, but it was kind of in the daytime. I was waiting in my car and this guy was there in his car. So we were talking and getting to know each other through our cars. And then we exchanged phone numbers. Um, cause he was cool or whatever. We hit it off. I was kind of pissed because he was short. Somehow he charmed me. I don't know. I think I didn't care like what I was doing in my life at that point. I was just kind of like in this whole, you know, I moved out of my parents' house, I got my own place with roommates, and <laughs> I got a job, whatever, I can do whatever I want, blah, blah, blah. So I ended up having a kind of a one night stand in a way with him, like a two night stand. And then a month later, you know, I got a positive pregnancy test. And I was like, oh, I'm having a baby. Okay, well, at least I know who the father is. <laughs> Because that's pretty promiscuous, I must say. Especially the years prior to that. But I was like, I'm having a baby, but like, I don't know if you want to be involved or whatever. Like, I don't care. You know, I was just very like nonchalant about the whole thing. I just kind of accept things as they are. I'm like, it is what it is. So he was like, yeah, I'll be involved. So I'm like, oh, okay. And um, we decided to tr like give it a real go. So we stayed together and had... Um, moved in with my parents. Um, I moved out from my apartment with my roommates and then we both moved in at my parents' house. He was really nice, like, wasn't in love with him, but I did not not love him. You know what I mean? Like, there wasn't the thing, but it was like, fine the way it was too. The baby was born, it was a little girl, but he was there during the birth and everything. He was like really, really good with me um, and took care of me and made sure I was comfortable and everything. So I had the baby and then we stayed at my parents' house and then we got married um, when I was five, when she was five months old, I think. Moved into an apartment. So everything was okay. I was just kind of like, I don't know. I mean, I still don't love him, but like... I'm trying, you know, I'm trying. <laughs> it just was not working out. And we ended up getting a divorce about nine months after we got married. I think I filed at that time. Because so we got married, but our a divorce was official in 98. Luckily, I had a lot of help with my daughter. Um, I stayed with my parents. I went back and lived with my parents. My dad and my mom helped raise her and take care of her and very, very good influences on her life. And her and my dad are still best friends to this day. When she was three years old, she declared um, them best friends and they still are. So <laughs> the thing with being a teen mom is like, I wouldn't have traded it for the world. No, I love my daughter so much. She, her and I are really close. Um, Kind of helps that I'm like not super older than her, <laughs> but I'm still mom to her, which sometimes it's like kind of funny to me because I'm like, I'm really not that much older than you. And sometimes my instinct is to want to be her friend. I think I did a pretty good job disciplining her um, as she grew up. And of course I had my parents to help. And then um, I did end up remarrying for a little while to my other daughter, my next daughter's dad and I actually had her when I was 23. It's hard being a teen mom but I know I had a much better life as a teen mom than a lot of moms. Um, if you are pregnant and you're a teen or maybe even just in your younger 20s and you don't know what to do and you don't have family to help you, um, I would try to find a church to help you. If you don't have a church, just just kind of look some up on the internet and maybe a non-denominational one would be good. And just see if there's anything they can do. There's probably, they probably have lots and lots of resources that you haven't even thought of. So there's someone out there. Maybe a friend's mom, a neighbor, but please don't feel like you're trapped. I know that had I thought I wasn't ready, then I definitely would have done adoption. There's no other choice for me, but I was, like I said, I was very lucky to have a lot of help. 
Thank you so much for watching and I will see y'all later. There's a squirrel. <laughs> of course. Love y'all. Bye.